Greetings and salutations. I'm Mark Absalon and welcome to Mark Absalon's video tips and tricks where you can learn about filmmaking and all kinds of cool stuff. I have been researching online, especially in the video department, trying to find something for this topic we're going to talk about. And I haven't seen too many things. So I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to do a video to tell you guys about it. Well, some of you guys are wondering what I'm talking about. Well, it's called Foley. Now some of you guys are saying, what the crap is Foley? While some of my other viewers are like, Foley is cool. Well, what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to talk about Foley and how it will help improve your videos, your short films, your feature length films or anything to actually create a more of a filmatic experience for your audience and to draw your audience in to watch your videos. And we're going to talk about all this right after we get back. Well, for all you people who do not know what Foley is, I'm going to tell you what it is right now. It, Foley is Foley sound. And Foley sound are the small elements like a door closing, birds flapping their wings, someone walking down a creaky staircase that are all added in and post after the film has been shot. Now these effects are very minor. They're so small that you barely notice them, but they actually complete the film's soundtrack with the effects. So they add to the film and draw you as an audience more into it. The term Foley, if you're wondering, is actually taken from a individual named Jack Foley. Now Jack Foley was a revolutionary artist in the term of sound effects. I mean, this guy dates all the way back to the silent film era. He is the best known for it. So they decided, you know what, let's take this guy's last name and call these little sound effects Foley Sound. So that way we can confuse all these new filmmakers that know absolutely nothing about it. Now just to recap for all you people that might not be listening, Foley Sound are sounds within a film or movie or video that mimic the real environment. They're very subtle. Now you're probably wondering, how do you do Foley sound? Well, Foley sound is always, number one, done in post-production. It's done after the entire film has been shot and they add the effect in. Now, creating Foley sound comes in two different varieties. First off, you can be kind of cheap. If you're cheap, you'll buy a sound effects library and actually add the sound into your production from the library. That's the easy way to do it. But if you want to create something cool, you can do it yourself. Nine times out of ten when they're shooting a film, they use Foley Sound Studios to record the sound they're going to need for the film. But you, at home, can create your own home studio for Foley Sound. It's a rather simple task. For instance, you can do it in an extra bedroom or your apartment or uh, just about anywhere in your house where you don't have any echoing going on. Uh, one thing that you're going to need is a good microphone. Uh, and something to record the audio onto, whether it be your camera or a mini DVD recorder or DVR recorder or, or whatever. Uh, another thing you're going to need too, and this might not be something that you actually need, let me take that back. A lot of professional Foley studios will actually have the film playing in the background so that they can see exactly what they're making the sound to. Now this can be helpful, but with the way nonlinear editing is nowadays, you don't really need it. So if you can, watch your film and add your effect that way, but you really don't need to. Number two that you need to learn, I guess, instead of number three, is that you don't have to have the same object to create the sound for what you're making the sound for. Like for example, if you have two swords clashing together, it doesn't have to be two swords. It can be like two scrap pieces of metal or something uh, rather odd like that that'll work. As long as it sounds the way the audience thinks that the sound should sound like. An example of this are dinosaurs. Nobody knows what a dinosaur sounded like, but the audience is made to believe that they make a roaring sound, so therefore they'll use tracks from bears and they'll slow it down a little bit, or lions and they'll slow it down a little bit, 
and add that to the dinosaur track. So you think dinosaurs sound the way that they do, but in reality, it's just a bear growling or groaning or screaming really loud. Now some examples that I can give you for actually creating Foley sound that are just kind of out of this world, that is taken from movies that have been shot, etc., are like Star Wars. You know Star Wars. Everybody loves Star Wars. The door is opening and closing on the, um, was it Battlestar? Well, those were actually created with a piece of paper going in and out of an envelope. Uh, other examples, like for instance birds. You want to have a bird flapping their wings and flying off. Well, take a two pairs of gloves and move them back and forth because it makes for a great bird sound effect. You want someone walking through snow. Well, here's a good thing to do. Take some cornstarch and for every step that they take, put your hand down in the cornstarch and crunch it. It sounds just like snow. There's a lot of great effects that you can create from elements that have nothing to do with what you're creating the sound for. So remember that. Foley sound without it, your videos and films would sound really hollow. They would sound like they're missing something. So adding Foley sound to your video or film or whatever you're making will grasp your audience and bring them in and they'll want to view it more. There are a lot of different things out there on the internet to help you create sounds for your videos. Uh, so just go search around. You'll find some other cool ones too, like the kissing your hand or thumping a melon as in like someone being punched. There's just a variety of different guys that have actually done this and they know what to make. And then you can create your own too. Because the thing is you're fooling your audience and if your audience believes it, then you've got a great sound. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go over to markapsalon.com, check out my website, my forums, my reviews, and my training DVDs. By buying the training DVDs, you help produce shows like this. Also, subscribe. You know, I can't say this enough. Subscribe to my channel, comment on, comment on my videos, and add me on MySpace because we are doing contests every 10,000 subscribers and we're giving away some really cool stuff. So subscribe because that is your entry. Comment because I'm also going to choose a prize from the commenters and also add me on MySpace because I'm going to choose one of my MySpace friends. If you want to see the video on it a little bit more detailed, I'll put it right here in an annotation. You can click that and it'll take you to the video. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Mark Absalon and until the next video tips and tricks, I'm out.